What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the game Omega Legends. Yes, as you guys have seen by the title, I'm going to be showing you the best settings and HUD HUD layout to use in Omega Legends to make you play a lot better. But whoa, 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 before I do that, log into the game right now, go over to settings, click redemption code just there. Type in the code OMEGA777 and you guys can get some free stuff. Are you ready for this? Mailbox. Boom. Collect. I just got free 7,777 silver, a collector's coupon, an elite collector's coupon, and a veteran coupon. So you guys can get some free packs by putting in that free code. You're welcome. Now, the game is due to release very soon on iOS, guys, towards the end of this month in a few days' time. I hope you're all very excited. I'm very excited for you guys to play it with me. So, all I ask you to do is just be subscribed, hit a like on this video, drop a comment down below, let me know if you're going to play this game with me. I want to start doing some regular giveaways as well. So, make sure you have joined my official Discord in the comments and in the description. And without further ado, let's find out what the best settings are to play Omega Legend. Let's go. Okay guys, so welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys have been requesting uh, the best settings video to boost FPS in Omega Legends. Again, at the moment, um, for guys around the world that aren't in South America or Brazil, the ping is going to be very high. I average like 200 to 220 ping. But when the EU and the NA servers come, hopefully within a couple of days when it reaches the iOS store, uh, it should be a lot better. But the first thing I'm going to get you guys to do first. Now this is a must. This is to avoid losing any of your data or any of your character's stuff so far or your account. So all you need to do is you need to go to settings. You can see accounts on the top right. Hit that tab. Go over to the account on the left hand side. Click on IGG and make sure you have linked your actual uh, IGG account. You have to create an IGG account. Um, because if you don't have one of these and you don't link it with your uh, account so far, it's basically at the moment, my account was just linked with my device at the top. You have to link it to an IGG account and you have to create one to be able to save your data when we do converge onto other servers. So make sure you do that first before anything else, okay? Next, we're going to go into the controls first. So the controls are relatively easy to do on here. Um, basically, this is the control tab. You've got aim assist, auto pickup, recommends uh, recovery items you need. I would leave all of these on. Now, the aim assist is very heavy in this game. There's a lot of aim assist. So I feel like um, they, 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 they may turn it down a bit uh, later on because it is quite high. Hopefully, they don't because it's going to be quite easy for sort of newer players to play. If you don't want to play with aim assist, absolutely fine. You guys will understand what I'm what I'm talking about with the aim assist. It's very high. So I have just have mine on anyway. I'd recommend having yours on. A really cool feature they added is the crosshair color. You can't see it just behind me, but you can actually change your crosshair color to white, green, red, or blue. I just leave mine on white because I'm just used to that in every other game we play. Uh, cartridge notification, don't even know what that is, just leave that on. Um, sensitivity, okay. This is where it gets a bit technical. So basically guys, I haven't really customized mine. I've, I've tried it on low, I've tried it on medium, I've tried it on high, and I've tried it my own customization. You guys are going to have your own customizations, but... The default recommended one, if you want to be really good at the game and you want to be able to snap to players and shoot them quickly because that is really needed in this game, I would recommend having your average sensitivity set to high. Um, it just feels great. It feels smooth. It means you don't have to put your firm or your finger right across your tablet or your mobile device just to be able to turn uh, 90 degrees or 180 degrees. Um, so I would recommend having it on high and leaving it on that. Again, guys, let me know in the comments if you've customized yours. But that's how I, that's what I feel um, works best. Okay, now next is the graphics. These are also very important. Now, these are very much dependent on your device. The basic rule of mobile gaming is the lower the lower end your device is, the the worse it is. 
the lower settings you want to pick. So if you've really got an old device, you haven't got much RAM in your mobile or your tablet, I would just leave it on smooth. I would turn shadows and anti-aliasing off. You want to keep those off. They just increase uh, the battery power and the workload on your device. And I would just leave the frame rate on very high. I mean, if your device, you find it, it's overheating when playing the game, try turning it down to high or medium. Low frame rate would just be very, very hard to play. But if that's all you can play it on, then I would pick low. Um, but that's basically it, guys. I have mine on HD and very high, and I have my shadows and my anti-aliasing off. This is what I would recommend. Um, it tends to work very well, but I have got a Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Um, so yeah, I would uh, I would leave them on that if you've got a high-end device. If you've got a really high-end device, like an iPad or something like that, I would have it on Ultra HD and very high because it won't overheat that much and uh, it'll give you a much better, smoother gaming experience. Okay, next is the very important thing. This is probably the most important thing in this video is the HUD. Okay, so all you want to pick is number three on this list, okay? Number one, left hand move, right hand fixed button to fire. Means the right one is fixed and you really don't want that. You want to be able to move it around when you're shooting. The middle one is a floating button, which you should never use in any mobile game whatsoever. It just doesn't work very well. A lot of you guys will know what I'm on about. So pick loadout three, left hand fixed button to move. So that means your move button is fixed, so it won't move around when you're moving around your screen. And the right hand button is is fixed as well so that one um, now next if you hit the custom panel on a number three I'm gonna show you the basic my HUD layout now again you guys are gonna want to sort of move yours around as you see it now I use five finger claw okay so I have my left finger is my thumb and my uh, index finger uh, I have my right hand as my thumb and my two four, uh, four fingers just here um, so Basically, I'm going to go over to the left hand side of the screen just above me first. So I have my jump button just there. Um, I've also turned the transparency going, uh, down on these guys to, to make it. Um, I already know where the buttons are. Um, leave them, leave them, leave the transparency. And what I mean by that is how um, visible it is on the screen. Um, mine's off at the moment because um, I know where all the buttons are and I'm comfortable with that. Once you're comfortable with where the buttons are on the screen, you can turn yours down because it will help you see more. Um, so basically, I have my jump button and my crouch button on the left hand side. And I also have my um, fall button just there, which is the just the button when you fall out of the parachute. But all you want on your left hand side, guys, is the jump and crouch to use on your left hand. And obviously behind me, which you can't see just here, I've got my joystick as well, which will pretty much self-explanatory every pretty much every one of you guys will have your joystick on the bottom left hand side um next i've got my backpack on the top left and my uh, team names and health on the top left as well the backpack just there um is really cool because it helps you see next to the map um what color armor you've got helmet uh, chest plate gloves boots uh, and it's quite easily accessible when you're when you're trying to open your inventory so um that's basically my left hand side on the right hand side, it gets a bit more technical. Now, again, as I'm using five finger claw, you guys can see on the top right, I actually have my uh, aim and my ADS and my fire buttons. This, this is my fire button. This is my ADS button. I actually use my middle finger um, to ADS in and my forefinger to fire. Um, basically, next to those, I have the ping button just above that. And I also have my free look button. So I can I can do all of those objectives with my uh, middle finger and my forefinger on the right hand side of my tablet. My two skills are quite easily accessible as well. Every agent has two different unique skills. Um, so I would just put those sort of next to the fire button to make it easier to use when you are in a fight and make them so it's it's quickly to use as well because you really do need to use skills quite quickly in this game. Um, I have my map towards the top of the screen just below that uh, thing you can see just there and obviously all my settings and mic and stuff there as well in my chat. Um, so my open box is just next to my fire button. This is what I use to... Uh, uh, basically, when I open an items and I pick up items, that box will show up. Um, to revive people, I've just left that in the middle. Next is the bottom right. So this is what I use with my thumb. All of the stuff you can see over there in the bottom right of the screen, all I use my thumb. I only use my thumb to actually enable and click these. So basically, I use my thumb to move around uh, the screen in that sort of open space over there. 
Next, I have um, the sort of uh, reload button just here. I think I can actually put a click here, so this will make it easier. So I use my right thumb to move the camera in this uh, empty space here. I've got all of my weapons that I can easily access with my thumb, um, just from a click of a button really easily. Um, it's all very compact and close together because you really want that in a HUD. You don't want anything spaced out um, unless you're using like eight fingers or ten fingers, but eight fingers and two thumbs but it's pretty impossible so i've got my reload button there i've got my heels uh just next to it just here and then i've also got my half bar at the bottom of the screen just here so this is a typical four finger claw layout you want to use now i know a lot of you guys are gonna be using just two thumbs because you're going to be on mobile devices i will release a video later on on my recommended thumb layout but at the moment this is for four finger claw because i know a lot of you pros and a lot of you guys use the four finger claw just to be able to sort of move quicker and click buttons much easier uh, but in a later video i will show you how to uh, i will show you a hud layout of just using two thumbs that's basically it guys so again as i said at the beginning of the video go to redemption code in the settings type omega 777 to get yourself some free in-game stuff i'm going to be releasing a lot more videos on this game guys so if this video has helped you i would appreciate if you could just hit a like drop a comment down below if there's any changes you think i need or if you uh, have any questions for me make sure you're subscribed and i'm gonna be doing some regular giveaways so just join the official discord as well so look forward to more videos on omega legends guys it is an incredible game i'm absolutely loving it i love that there's no building aspect as well so it is pure aiming skill and strategy so that's basically it guys thank you very much for watching i will see you guys in the next video yeah boy